All right, question number 16 is a lovely statistical test question. Okay, so down at the bottom of the screen there, you can see what the question is. Give three reasons why the researcher used a related t-test in this study. And using table two, explain whether or not the results are significant. And it is a five marker. Okay, so I've highlighted the bits and pieces that might be useful for us. Um, we've got a directional hypothesis. We've already got our calculated value, which was 1.5. 4377. We know that we're at the 5% level of significance and we have degrees of freedom of 9. Okay, so straight off the bat, we can say that our critical value, if our degrees of freedom is 9 and we have a directional hypothesis, which means that we are going to be using a one tail test at the 5% level then we know our critical value is 1.833. Okay, so that's already important. We need to know that in order to determine whether or not my, the results are significant. Okay, the little bit highlighted in blue is also important. The calculated value of t must be equal to or greater than the critical value in order for the results to be considered significant. Okay, so we already have part of our question right there just by looking at the information that's on the screen because the calculated value of 1.4377 must be equal to or greater than the critical value, which is 1.833, okay? So we already know that the results are not significant because 1.377 is not equal to or greater than 1.833. Now we've just got to justify why they used a related t-test in this study, okay? So let's have a little look at why that is. So three reasons. And remember, we have to apply all the way. All right. So we have a test of difference. OK. And what is that difference? It is the difference between running with music and running without music. OK. So we have two conditions. Test of difference. OK. What else? Well, we have. All the participants are taking part in both of the conditions, which means that it is a related design. Okay, it's a repeated measures design, which makes it a related design. Okay, and then finally, we have the level of measurement is interval because the dv is being measured in seconds. Okay, so there are our three reasons. First, three marks achieved. And now we need to move on to whether or not it's significant. That's going to make up the second part of the answer. And it's also going to give us our final two marks. So we need to establish that the results are not significant. Okay, we did that earlier. And the reason that they are not significant is because the calculated value is not equal to or greater than the critical value. Okay. There's your final two marks. Now, just be careful with a question like this. Get your keywords and your key phrasings in. Okay, so the results are not significant at the 5% level. Why? Because the calculated value, specify what the calculated value is, is not equal to or greater than the critical value. Again, state what it is so that the examiner knows that you know. Okay, and then that final sentence. Make sure that they are aware, again, that you know that this is for a one-tailed test and that your degrees of freedom is nine. Okay? I know that they gave you that information in the STEM, but it just makes for a nicer answer and it makes for a more complete answer if you can use all of the wording exactly as it's supposed to be used. Okay? It leaves no room for ambiguity and it makes sure that the examiner knows that you know what you're talking about. All right, and that is the answer to that question. I hope it's made sense. I will see you in the next one.